I made my first game in one week, and the exact following week I learned how to 3D model. And now? And now it's time to combine the two things that I learned to create a new fun level for you guys to play. Also, I have a little surprise tied to a challenge at the end of the video, so stick around for that. While working on balls, I fell in love with a specific game mechanic, and I decided that that's what I want to work on more. For those that haven't seen my first game dev video, I tried to make a grappling hook and even if it almost made me lose my sanity, in the end I surprisingly enough managed to make it work quite well and succeeded in making it feel really good. But there's something really important missing. Can you figure out what it is? Exactly! There is no actual grappling hook, so it just looks weird. Anyways. Let's quickly fix that! It's been two days! How was animating the grappling hook harder than the coding of the actual f physics? But now that I have it figured out, let's quickly fly over the process. First, you create a grappling hook component and give it multiple properties, ready to fire, firing and attached. You then have to create a cable or rope that spawns when you fire the grapple and attaches one end to your player and the other end to your grappling hook projectile. This is when it enters the firing state. After the projectile collides with another object, the state changes once more, but this time it changes to attached and that's when the actual grappling hook physics start. And once all this is done, well then absolutely nothing ends up fucking working, so you go through your entire code 100 times to find out that nothing is wrong with your code, but the grappling hook collides with your character, even though it is told to ignore the player. In the end, I just cheaply fixed it by spawning the grappling hook further ahead of the player to never get in contact with the said player, and this looks and feels pretty perfect if you ask me. So, now that it feels good, let's make it look good. So I used all the skills that I learned last week during my Blender power learning session and quickly modeled a grappling hook. And let me just say that I'm really proud of how quick and easy it was for me to make this bad boy. And after importing the model to the glorious Unreal Engine, I discovered my new addiction. Emissive material. What is emissive material? Well, I'm glad you asked. Basically, emissive material is another fancy word to say it makes shit glow. So obviously, I slapped it on everything I could find. My character? Glowing. My grappling hook? Glowing. The grappling hook cable? You guessed it, it's fucking glowing. So, my grappling hook was mostly ready, but I have two problems. I don't know how to make it into a pickup item, and I have this weird bug that if the character dies while shooting the grappling hook, the grappling hook doesn't cancel itself and therefore just flies on forever. But I'm gonna be honest with you, it's been three days and I really need to look at something else than this little piece of amazing grapple. And yes, yes I am fighting to not get demonetized before my channel even is monetized. So go subscribe, or else. It was time to change scenery and start designing the next level. This second level starts with jump pads, then you have to fight your way across these rotating islands, and in the end you unlock the grappling hook and you have this cool grappling hook part. This level is short, but has quite a few special places where I've hit some gems. Good luck to anyone that tries to find them, because even I don't remember where I put most of them. So now that my creativity has been refreshed and refilled, it was time to go back to the coding of the grappling hook and make him into a pickup skill. And let me just say that this was once again way harder than what I thought it would be. The way I wanted to do it was to create a boolean that can be either true or false. By default this will be false and the grappling hook won't be active, but as soon as you pick up the grappling hook it changes to true and from there on out you can use the grapple. And this would have worked, but there was one problem. As soon as my player dies the statement would go back to false and effectively deactivate the grappling hook skill, which is not what I wanted. Once the grapple is equipped, I want you to be able to keep the skill until you load up a new level or restart the one you're in. And I had absolutely no idea why that shitty boolean statement would go back to false. And let me tell you, I tried everything, followed tons of tutorials, and after another two days of trying, I somehow understood why this was happening. The reason was the way I handled death. 
When the player dies, he gets deleted and then respawned. Effectively resetting anything in direct connection with the player, including his variables like a true-false statement of the grapple. The way I fixed it was I stored the boolean statement in the player state. The player state is used to store information separately from the character and is mostly used in multiplayer games, but this works pretty well to fix my problem. Finally, all the game mechanics work. And now, well now it's time to go face one of my most detested adversaries. The UI system. We meet again. I had to finish my menu with all its options and add a high score end screen so you can actually see what your score is. After a little over two days of headache, I have achieved a menu that I'm really proud of, to be honest. It's a live scene where you can see the impact of your settings in the background, and I love that. I think it's missing in way too many games. I also, of course, got the end screen working, but I haven't had the time to actually make the system store your scores, so for now they get deleted as soon as you leave the level. Now, where will this game go from here on out? Well, for now, I'll be taking a little break of about one month from this game so that I can work on other projects and overall grow my game dev skills in other domains. One of the upcoming projects is a game jam that I will be participating in. Stay tuned for that.